Good morning. It's Philip Stevens with the Baptist Church of Driftwood, and I'd like to talk to you today about the Romans Road. You know, one time when I was young, my dad told me, son, if you don't know where you want to go, any road will do. This advice came at a time when my dad was trying to give me some direction and, and to get me to stop and think about some of the decisions I was making and the behaviors I was engaged in. It was a great truth for me at that time. And I find that it's a great truth for all of us to consider in our spiritual lives. Because spiritually speaking, if you don't know where you want to go, any road will do. If you don't care where you wind up in the afterlife, it doesn't matter what road you take in this life. But if your hopes and dreams include someday making it into heaven and spending time in the presence of our Heavenly Father, there's only one road that will do. That road is the Romans road. It's God's plan of salvation, and it's clearly given to us in the New Testament book of Romans. In Romans 3.23, the Bible says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means that, that none of us measure up to God's standard of holiness. It means that all of us have done things that are wrong and outside of God's will for our lives. The Bible calls those actions sin. And any sin, no matter how small in our eyes, is a big sin, and it separates us from God and prevents us from enjoying fellowship with Him. Romans 6.23 says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The penalty for sin that we all commit is death, spiritual death. And we, we need to recognize and realize that our sin has already separated us from enjoying God's fellowship. If we die in our sin, we'll face eternal separation from God the Father. Jesus paid the penalty for our sins so we don't have to. And if we accept Christ as our Savior, we receive eternal life. And because of our forgiveness, our fellowship with God is restored. In Romans 10 verse 9, the Bible says, If you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart man believes, resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. All a person needs to do is to believe in their heart that God raised Christ from the dead, and confess with their mouth that Christ is Lord, and they will be saved. God no longer looks at us and sees our sin. He looks at us and he sees the righteousness of his Son, Jesus Christ. The Bible clarifies the simplicity of the gospel again in Romans 10 um, by saying that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Salvation is easy if you follow the Roman road because the Roman road leads you to Jesus Christ. Jesus said it like this in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. You can receive Christ today as your Savior simply by confessing your sins and asking Him to be your Lord and Savior. You don't have to have some scriptures memorized. You don't have to say uh, anything at all about the Romans road. You just need to address your need for forgiveness and your belief that Christ died for your sins and that he rose from the dead in victory. You can confess Christ as your Lord by saying a, a prayer as simple as this. Dear God, I confess I've done wrong things in my life. I'm sorry and I want to turn away from those things and turn to you. I believe that Christ died for my sins, that he rose from the dead. I believe that he lives today, and I want him to be my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I ask you to lead me and guide me from this day forward. Amen. If you decided to ask Christ for forgiveness of your sin, congratulations. You have made an awesome decision, and it is one that you need to share with other people starting today. Tell somebody so they can rejoice with you about this glorious news. It's also important for you to fellowship with other followers of Christ. It's important to find a good Bible-believing church where you can learn more about God's Word, where you can learn about the blessings and the promises that God has for you, where you can learn how He will empower you and equip you to live the life that He has called you to live. You know, we'd love to have you fellowship with us at the Baptist Church of Driftwood. We're located at 13540 FM 150 West in Driftwood, Texas. Not far from the Salt Lick, our worship time starts at 1045. We'd love to meet you. Hope you have a good day. God bless you.